course. I'm here to help you try and be successful in this class that you're trying to digest. Okay? So how do you how do you use these online courses that I have here on YouTube? How do you use them to be successful? And first is how do you digest the info contained in these videos? Okay? Number one, most of these videos I'm going to be working some sample problems and working along. Uh, I want you to work along with me. What you can't do is just push play and watch me work the problem because I can make it look easy, right? What you have to do is push play and then as soon as the video starts and you see the picture of the problem we're going to work, push pause and then go look at that problem and try and work it on your own. And only push play if you get stuck. Then go to them, go see what I do. Go watch the solution or see where I get to. Then push pause again, go finish the problem. Then skip to the other video, see if you get the same answer I do, okay? So don't just watch the videos. I watched Tiger Woods play Tiger Woods play golf last weekend, right? Guess what? Just because I watched him play golf doesn't mean I can play as good as he can. It takes a whole lot of practice, okay? So how are you successful here? Because these classes are difficult. They're very difficult. It's practice, practice, practice. And you can't just watch what I do here. That's not enough. you got to do the homework that your professor assigns you. And the, what I would suggest is go find a different book other than one you're studying for the, for the topic that you're uh, studying. And look at sample problems in those books and see if you can work those. And the more problems that you can get your hands on and solve, the better off you're going to be. I promise you that. Also, get yourself a good study group because if you can teach somebody else how to do those problems, then you got it for sure, okay? And my last bit of advice before I let you go here is stay clear of solution manuals. I can't tell you how important this one is. And I, I hear you out there already, I hear you. But that's how I learn. By what, looking at somebody else's work? How are you gonna solve problems as an engineer? You can't go Google the solution, it doesn't exist. You gotta figure things out for yourself. It's important that you read it and figure it out because once you get it, You've spent enough time to burn those pathways in your brain, and you got it. So on a test, you're like, oh, I remember I got stuck on that for two hours. I know how to work that problem. But if you go straight to a solution manual, then you're on a test, and you're like, how did they do that problem? Uh, I spent two seconds on it and just put the answer down. This is a bad thing, man. I promise you, as a professor, I see it over and over and over. Stay away from these things. Instead, get stuck on a problem. And then go visit your professor's office. Go see the guy that's teaching your class. Say, man, I've been working on this for a day. I can't figure this problem out. i got to know what I'm doing wrong. Because when you see the answer, you're like, oh, I'll never forget that again, okay? So keep your head down. Maybe these videos will help you. Please, push pause and work them along with me. You ought to be taking a complete set of notes. When you get through with this, you ought to have a set of notes from these videos, just like you would if you took the class. My best wishes for your success, and thanks for watching.